Hi, in this video we are going to be looking at a program called Linear, Linear Program Solver, acronyms of LIPS, which is an optimization package intended for solving linear integer and goal programming problems. It is uh, very friendly and, and easy to use. It's developed by Professor Michael Melnick at the Department of Operations Research in the State University of Management in Moscow, Russia. Um, this program is readily available through internet and you can download it uh, from just by simple search you will find the information on it and you can download it. After downloading the program and unpacking it and launching the program the first interface page that you see is a page that will have information about the program. I recommend that you take a look at the help pages which show different levels of uh, the ways that you can enter the information into the program, how to solve it, different features that the program has for sensitivity analysis, for integer programming, uh, even for the goal programming. It is important to make yourself familiar with capabilities the program has, how to enter the input, the forms that you can enter the input into the program, specifically the features that the program has, how to interpret the output generated by the program, how to look at the sensitivity analysis and integer programming and even goal programming features that this program is offering you it's not going to be a waste of time and it's very helpful and it is not a very large uh, confusing uh, number of uh, help pages i will cover a demonstration for you but it is good idea to uh, always check the help page There are three ways that you can enter the, the program, the LP, into the linear program solver. At this stage, I'm going to start with the tabular format. When you start with the tabular format, it will ask you how many variables you have and how many constraints you have. You identify that and the program will bring a table for you to fill. It has room for the coefficient of the A matrix, the small B vector of the right hand side, the coefficient of the objective function and the additional lower bounds um, declarations that you may need to have in the program. When you solve the program you get an output which is basically written just a regular tableaus of the simplex method. Uh, at the top of it you will see that it says it is phase 2. If, it, if the program didn't have a phase 1 part, it will show you the answers, um, the bases, the values of the right hand side. But remember that this, this specific program, the way that it shows the output is different than the way that we are using in our class. In our class, we write the zero at the top of the uh, tableau and we use the format which is ZJ minus CJ. Uh, these tableaus are written based on CJ minus ZJ. So there is a negative sign difference. Uh, in interpreting the output you need to be careful about um, these specific features of it. As you see uh, the output, the, the final output is, is given, the answers for x values and the answers for the main variables are given but it doesn't give you straight answer for the values of the slacks however it will write for you which one of the uh, constraints 
how much it was achieved and the value that it achieved and what was the original right hand side and you can and you can see the difference that difference is the slack variable in this case as you see uh, both numbers were achieved so both constraints are tight constraints you can export the results of a problem that you are running into excel just simply exporting it and uh, naming it and then you can bring your excel up and the file it is it is always um, saved on the desktop uh, so you can easily find the find the file The other feature that we are going to be looking at is, is entering the, the problem in the text mode. As you enter the program into the text mode, uh, three specific things that you need to remember. One is that every line ends with a semicolon. The other thing is that oh, any coefficient of x is, uh, that you will have needs to have an asterisk uh, between that coefficient and the variable name so it's five asterisk or that the star uh, sign that which is on your keyboard x uh, one or x two and 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 so on and again you can solve it and you will see that uh, the same result is uh, given to you and every single blow is printed so you can actually see how it is done for example the entering variable, the leaving variable, the actual uh, min ratio that is taken, and the updated uh, zero or the objective row that we will have for every single tableau. The information is written underneath the tableau. Uh, the iteration is taking place, the next iteration uh, is taking place, um, entering variable uh, has entered the basis, leaving variable has left the basis, and again the same type of approach until it gets to the optimal solution. When, the, when it gets to the optimal solution it will report the optimal values for the main variables remember it's just for the main variable it's not giving you the values of the slacks uh, or surplus variables you have to figure that out from checking the constraint row 1 100 and uh, is the value is 100 and uh, the right hand side was 100 the other one is was 90 so the value it did not reach the right hand side so that is not a tight constraint uh, and there is a value of a slack for that constraint now uh, take a look at what I'm doing here I'm, I'm, I'm inserting a specific error in there uh, and that error in this case uh, was on the naming of the constraint I entered the space it was row two that I had, and I entered a space um, uh, between row and two, and it gave me an error, and it told me where the error was. Um, I can fix that. I have entered, um, and if I solve it, um, it would be the same. I'm going to also enter another uh, incorrectly input values which this time uh, instead of 5 asterisk x I 
will take that asterisk out and then I will try to run it. I will get error again uh, and specifically showing me where the error is such that I can fix it. So it is again it's a very simple way of solving the linear programming problems by this um, software. In the next one we will be looking at additional features of this software which are related to the integer programming. Uh, we will be looking also at the two-phase method and sensitivity analysis.